there's been a potentially major breakthrough in diagnosing life-threatening head injuries. We're talking about the type of hard-to-detect concussions or mild brain trauma that commonly affect young athletes, infants with shaken baby syndrome, and combat troops. In fact, the Army came up with this test. They say it's a simple blood test that will do the trick. But some people in the medical community are skeptical, so we brought in physical medicine specialist Dr. Ian Smith. He's in Chicago this morning to tell us more about this. Dr. Smith, good morning to you. Good morning, Dan. So very simply, how does this test work? The idea is very simple. You take a very simple blood test like you would for anything else, get a blood count. But they're looking for a particular protein that they think will spill into the blood after your nerve cells are damaged. We have a similar test like this for heart disease to see whether or not someone has suffered a heart attack. So the idea is look for this protein. This protein will let us know whether or not someone who may look normal and may be talking normal has actually suffered a concussion. So just to, just to repeat it so I make sure I've got it, if we have some sort of head injury, it, it can show, signs of that can show up in our blood, and you're saying this test potentially would tell doctors whether, in fact, we've had a serious or, or something, uh, some sort of head injury that should be checked out further. You've called this potentially revolutionary. Why? Well, because so many people, you know, 1.4 million brain injuries a year at least, so many people walk around who have had concussions, and while they look fine and we don't, think anything is wrong, concussions can have something called a post-concussion syndrome, where you have cumulative neurological damage. So one concussion, then another. All that could lead to some damage, could lead to epilepsy. And this is why the NFL these days is so serious about quarterbacks and, and concu concussive injuries. Why this is revolutionary is now, if we can do the simple blood test, those we suspect who have maybe just mild to moderate trauma we now can test them and say, listen, they've suffered a concussion and therefore take a restrictive approach to future activities or at least supervise or monitor them much better. This would be really important for high school athletes in particular. And I was struck by one of the military scientists who came up with this test. He said it will, quote, change medicine entirely. That said, there is some real skepticism in the medical community. Why is that? Well, I like to use the words cautiously optimistic, and I do that because this was a rather small study, only 34 patients. The second part of it is it has never been published. Typically, when scientific evidence is revolutionary of this size, you want to see it in a, a well-regarded journal like the Journal of American Medical Association or the England Journal of Medicine. They haven't published it yet, so a lot of this data, while with the reporting on it, other scientists and doctors have not had a chance to look at it and study and analyze it. So we remain cautiously optimistic. We hope for a bigger study and for more transparency on exactly what they did to get their results. Always good to have you on, Dr. Smith. Thank you. Thanks, Dan.